guys, I have the June Birch Box and I'm really loving the style of how it comes now in this brightly coloured patterned box. Inside is the magazine. I do like the magazine, as you will know, it has lots of beauty articles inside and information about some of the products that are inside the box. Um, and this month, everything is all about festival must-haves, as far as I can tell. Festival chic is the theme for this month. So here is the actual box. I like this design as well, this kind of rough. And ooh, always dropping stuff. This nice pattern in the inside as well. And also the actual bag of stuff, the colours has changed as well. It's like this natural colour with a fluorescent orange. Um, there's first of all some postcards here, which are Birchbox postcards. Um, there's New York, Paris, London and Barcelona. It says we're dreaming of a great trip and we're betting you are too. Inspired by our four global offices, New York, London, Paris and Barcelona, we've created an exclusive set of postcards. Keep them at your desk to spark your imagination or send them off to friends in far off locales. And then the note says, Hi there, we're so excited to debut our new look. Our new style is in keeping with our brand's personality, fun, sophisticated and authentic. We hope you'll like our revamped birch boxes. I do. Uh, they come in an array of gorgeous colours. Let us know what you think. Now that Glastonbury is upon us, it's well and truly festival season. Stay chic if you're attending an up coming fest by packing this month's birch box alongside your shades and your wellies. We've got you covered. Staying home this year, these must-haves will see you through the summer. Our pastel neon nail varnish is sure to bring a little festival fun to wherever you are. Enjoy! So I've already told you that there is a neon pink polish inside, so let me show you. It doesn't say neon, it says neon pastel. Neon pastel, yeah. So, I've actually got two of these and I'm not really sure why. Um, the colours that I have are, um, not that I'm complaining, <laughs> I love a nail varnish. Um, Rain in Spain and Mod in Manhattan and they are two polishes by Colour Club which is the brand that I love. They are mini polishes but that's fine. I've got so many nail varnishes that I very rarely get through a whole one unless it's a favourite of mine. But these two I think are both colours that I will definitely wear. Um, it says here you can win 100 nail polishes if you take a picture of your manicure in your hometown and share it on Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag BBWonderLust you could win a hundred colour club polishes. So that is good. I may have to do that myself. So let's talk about these first. Um, it says that they're worth £10 but I don't think a mini polish is worth £10. Like I've bought these before full size and they're definitely less than £10. Um, I've always found them hard to buy in England apart from at trade shows. Um, but yeah, even then, they're not that expensive. It says, brighten up your festival style with these exclusive to Birchbox neon and pastel shades. Layer two coats of the polish between your base and top coats to extend the life of your money. So that is them. The next thing is this Model Co. I Define Pencil. It says here it has up to 12 hour wear with intense colour, smudge proof and inbuilt sharpener. Um, it's black. I do love an eyeliner. It is really black and the fact that there's a sharpener on the in, on the lid is a massive bonus. There's also, I don't know what that's for, to make it more rounded I guess. I don't know if that's meant to come off or not. Um, it's £14, this is full size. Highly pigmented and long lasting, this fab pencil liner comes with an inbuilt sharpener, perfect for festival rock chick style. Suitable for sensitive eyes, the pencil stays soft and creamy for 30 seconds of blending before settling to a budge proof finish. Sounds good to me. The next thing is this Kula Classic Face SPF 30 Cucumber, full size is £26. And this sample is uh, 7 mils. 
Um, it says, wave goodbye to sun protection as typical white residue and help prevent premature aging with this clear cucumber scented SPF for face. Apply all over your face and neck after moisturiser and before makeup or use alone for a protected fresh faced finish. And it is getting hotter and you do need to wear SPF. I do particularly because I'm on Maracatane, but everyone should be wearing an SPF. It really will help anti-aging and your skin will really see the benefits when you are older even if you may not think it right now. It does smell very cucumbery and very fresh. And I've just seen my pink hair in the camera and got shocked, it's still quite new to me. Um, yeah, it smells good, I will use it 100%. Um, the next thing is this Beauty Protector, which is a brand I've never heard of before, which is called Protect and Detangle, it's a leave-in conditioner always need a bit of conditioner, my hair's really really thick and the ends are quite dry after I had them bleached so um, yeah another thing that I would definitely use it says multi-purpose products are festival friendly and this sweet smelling spray detangles, adds shine and protects from UVA rays and heat it's exclusive to Birchbox, hold the bottle 4 to 6 inches from damp hair and spray a few times before combing through and styling my hair is not damp so I won't spray it on now but um, it doesn't say the size of it how much is in here but it is a small bottle full size is 15 pounds I'm not going to spray it on myself but let's have a little smell it's not working no I've got a broken bottle a broken pump so I won't use that um, and then the last thing is this Noble Isle bath and shower gel which full size is £20 and this is 30 mils. I have never used any of their products before. It smells really, really nice. This smell is Fireside Bath and Shower Gel. It definitely could be unisex because it's got that little bit of a manly musk to it. It says, pack a little luxury for the festival season with this bath and shower gel inspired by the countryside. I don't know where they think festivals have showers, but all good. Um, nothing complicated here, lather up and get lost in the divine sense. I would definitely use this, I don't know if I would take it to a festival with me, um, because <laughs> I've never been to a festival that has a shower, but it smells really nice and I would definitely use it. The only disappointment out of my whole box is the fact that this pump isn't working, but as for the products, they're all things that I would use and would like to use. I will get in touch with Birchbox about this or decant it. But it smells good from what I can smell. And it feels like it's quite creamy. As a condition should be, I guess. So, that is the June Birch Box. Let me know if you've got anything different and your thoughts on this month's box. Thanks for watching. Bye!